You don't know how to act, right? Hi, Benny. Oh. Hi. Good afternoon and happy Friday. It is December 15th, the day after my birthday. I am out and about. I have two. First of all, okay, we'll get back to that. Go to the UPS store to mail off my old phone. Hold on. Y'all are mad dark. Because about a month ago, <laughs> I was in the bed on my phone and my phone flew out my hand and hit um, the leg of my nightstand and the leg of my nightstand has a curve. So it was like the perfect angle hit where it cracked my phone. And then my phone was like split in half. You can see the top screen but not the bottom. So I do a lot of my business on the phone. And even if I do, don't do a lot of business on the phone, like people need their phones. So I went straight to T-Mobile and got a phone. I, mind you, I just got that phone last year, September. So it was still new, but they already came out with a new phone. So anyway, I went to T-Mobile, got a new phone that day they shipped it got it the next day and during the process of me getting the phone I'm like oh if you give back an old phone which was an older phone that I just had that I had um, to trade in they took money off credit all that nonsense as long as I mail it in <laughs> so I had 30 days to mail it in so now we're like 28 days or something yeah, I've been prolonging. Time goes by fast. So, they've been charging my account regularly as if I have <laughs> both phones without the credit. $173. Like, I know I have T-Mobile. I know T-Mobile went up. Or they, they switched their plans to, I forgot the new name of the plans, but it was a whole big thing like, oh, you gotta contact them to say don't switch and whatever. And during that switch, my price was the same. So I know I wasn't automatically switched, but then I had got my phone. And now for some reason, the bill is $172. So I'm thinking because of me having the phone and stuff, it's charging me for two phones. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm lost. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm mailing off my phone. Cause I'm not paying $172 for no damn one cell phone so that's what I'm going to do today it's Friday I wanted to go out to this Asian um, supermarket but it's like an hour away and it's already two o'clock and you know if you know Atlanta traffic <laughs> if you know anywhere on a Friday during rush hour is busy now add that to Atlanta traffic it's crazy so I'm going to have to do that another day. I don't know what else I have planned today. I'll probably do some hookah. Oh, I got a, uh, a wine bottle for my birthday. So I'm going to open that. It's the cupcake wine. Open that up. Sip that tonight. Watch some vlogs. Edit this vlog. That's my Friday night. I'm not even going to go to the gym. Just going to chill. Nice and fat too, <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you serious? Look at this shit. Series 6 in the heat is still. Now, I need you to help me out with something. Let me know if I'm bugging or not. Cameron was ordered to pay a five-figure amount for this lawsuit mm. judgment because he used a picture of himself without permission. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. I just finished editing both vlogs. Number 12 is up and running. Number 13 is still rendering. But that's it for tonight. This is vlog miss number 14. Thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good morning and happy Saturday. It is December 16th. Going to brunch today and then going to BJ's because they have the cheapest oxtail around. And tomorrow for my quote unquote final birthday dinner, whatever, I want to make some oxtail lasagna. Like, I've never made lasagna, but I've made oxtail. And it's crazy that I've never made, well, I, okay, so I've made lasagna, but like a keto version using these egg life um, sheets instead of like the regular lasagna sheets. So... I'm going to get my oxtail today, season it, let it marinate overnight, then start early because, you know, oxtail, they take about three and a half, four hours to cook. And then let that cool and then make the lasagna all in the same night. So I said, you know what? Let me get my ingredients today. So brunch and to the store, to BJ's to get some oxtail. Other than that. Nothing else planned today, but we're just going to see what the day brings. And last night, I stayed up until about 3 o'clock editing the last two vlogs, Vlogmas number 12 and 13. So if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. Number um, 12 is a pre-birthday maintenance vlog. I I'm glad that I did it. It's nice and short, but... I like it and then of course number 13 is my birthday dinner brunch all that freebies I went to Starbucks um, but yeah so I'm just I'm rolling out these vlogs I'm rolling out these vlogmas vlogs um, I hear y'all in the comments about dating Corey we're just gonna see what happens honestly I woke up to messages on my last video like you know, I'll come to you, and I agree, but win, win, because you know, time is ticking. But you know, whatever's for me will come in due time. Here are milk and honey, not the real milk and honey. <laughs> it's different. We'll see how the food is. A lot of options. Music is super loud. Maybe. If it's more, maybe I would, but it's good. Olivia made me get into the mobile cart. Stress. I could walk faster than this. Why is there a bow on the meat? Oh, this is my oxtail. Ain't there no sample thing? Usually they have them on the weekend. BJ's do better. You're on candy camera. Cheese. Yeah, we tried this. 